Welcome in his presence, church, to our Wednesday night service. We are so happy that you decided to join us tonight. We just know that God's presence and power is going to fill your home, is going to fill your heart tonight. So just be open, be expecting. You know, we have a special service tonight. We're going to be receiving communion. So I encourage you to gather everyone in your home Share this service with someone. You can actually go on your Facebook and just hit share right now and post it to your live feed. And all of your friends on your Facebook feed will see this service. So I encourage you to do that because you just we just don't know whose life's going to be touched tonight. So I'm excited for that. And um, Angela. It's going to be powerful, right? We want you guys to comment. Let us know if you have a testimony, if God's done something in your life right now. If you need prayer for anything, will you let us know? Will you call the church, 818-313-9393? Yeah. We want to hear from you. And right now, we get to do something pretty special. Yes, Because yes, if it's yes. your very first time, we want to connect with you. We want to be a blessing to you. We want to get a free gift into your hands would you let us know if it's your first time will you give us a thumbs up in the comments and it's a book by our very own pastor by the way pastor Desiree Ayers it's beyond the flame it's such a powerful book if you haven't read this I encourage you to read this but only if it's your first time then let us know but if you could text the words IHP VIP to the number 62488 we would love to connect with you we would love to bless you with this free gift we just want to let you know that we're here for you. If you need anything, let us know. And IHP parents, don't forget Kids Corner. We had our last episode this Sunday. We have a new one coming up this Sunday as well. So you can go on YouTube, see our previous episodes. I encourage you guys to do that. They're so fun and they're for your kids. So what an awesome way to just connect yes. with God right now. Yes. And you know what, Angela? I've been hearing so many testimonies of just the miraculous things that God has been doing in our partners' lives, in our church. So I encourage you, if God has done something amazing in your life, would you let us know in the comments or would you call us at 818-313-9393? We want to share what God is doing in your life. So please share that with Amen. us. Amen. Let us know. And then this Friday, I'm so excited, at home with pastors, yes. 7 p.m. Make sure you guys tune in Friday, 7 p.m. on Facebook. It's just so powerful. Every time I go on, I get so encouraged. The word of God is being preached. And I just get so excited to see our yeah. pastors online yeah. just continuing to have the fire of God. We know today, tonight's going to be so yes. powerful. So we're so happy you're joining us today. But right now, we're going to get ready for worship. Awesome. Let's do it. Jesus, we just pray for your presence to fill every home. We ask that we encounter you in ways we never have before. We thank you, God, that you're our shield. And when the fiery darts come launching at us, you just quench them, Lord. So we stand right now and we stand firm. We will not be shaken and we will not be moved because you're our firm foundation. You have never failed us and you never will. Thank you, Jesus. with you. 
You're so great, Lord. We love you so much. We just give you all the honor and praise and thanksgiving. Jesus, we magnify your name. The name above every name in heaven and earth and under the earth. The name of Jesus Christ. Exalted, high above every name. Lord, we completely surrender to you tonight, to the will of God the ways of God, the Word of God. And we thank you for the privilege of fellowshipping with you in your presence and your power. I want to take communion tonight. It's so powerful to do communion. I'm going to give you a moment to maybe collect a piece of bread and some juice or whatever you have there. Because we can be so busy, viruses can come into our life in a real way. They can also come into our spiritual life and keep us busy thinking on things, trying to fix things that are broken or address things that, and try to fix them in our own strength when really we need to pray about it and ask God to help. So all these things can happen and we can forget how awesome that we have, the, the life we have with Jesus Christ what he's done for us, who he is to us. So I want to establish that in real heart tonight. So would you take your, the elements that you have. Here's what the scripture says. Take and eat this. This is my body which was broken for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Do this in remembrance of me that my body was broken so that yours could be healed, made whole. In other words, my relationship with my father was broken for the very first time ever. I took your place and gave you my place. Now your relationship with the father is healed and made whole again. You can boldly come to the throne of grace in your time of need. For now you don't not only have the righteousness of God. You are the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. Man won't live by bread alone, but by every word. Every word of God. This is his body. Would you take this with me, please? And let's just remember the wonderful things that Jesus has done for us. In the same manner, he also took the cup after supper. This cup is the new covenant in my blood. This do as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. That all the law has been obeyed. Jesus kept every bit of it and got the victory for us. All those laws that you could never keep and only brought condemnation and guilt to your life, Jesus kept all of them. And now we have a new covenant, a covenant of grace, mercy, compassion, forgiveness. The blood of Jesus has washed us clean. So no more condemnation, no more guilt. Every time it pops up, you say, no, no, I plead the blood of Jesus over that. I've been made new. 
Thank you, Lord, for your powerful blood, spotless blood, your perfect blood. Come on, let's drink this blood in remembrance of him. That's so awesome. You know, that'll produce a fire in your life. Can we do something about fire? You have a, a fire song anywhere? Huh? Can you just pop one up? Say, let's see, what do I got on fire? We got it. <laughs> got you. Come on. talk to you. Maybe you could turn in your Bibles. Do 
you have Bibles? Are you on your phone or do you really have a Bible? Go to 1 Corinthians. Well, let's go to Malachi. I'll switch it up a little bit here. I want to show you something I think is very important for the church to understand. Malachi is right before Matthew. Chapter 3. No matter how many times you turn to the Word of God, you'll never get to the end of one Scripture. You never get to the end of God. He is His Word. Malachi 3. Will a man rob God? Yet you, Verse 8. Will you, you rob me, but you say, in what way have we robbed you? Listen, in tithes and offerings. You know, we're a tithing church. So many of our partners tithe. And we're thankful for that. We're so thankful that you're faithful. Because God is faithful. But it says in tithes and offerings. You know, there's many times when Des and I, we not only tithe, but we bring offerings into the house of God. We realize there's things that it needs and that we'd like to speed up the process or help it along. And so many of you do the same. We we brought new computers and stuff for the youth room and stuff for our children's ministry. These places that mean so much to us to help these kids. And so as I receive the tithes and offerings tonight, I think they're going to put up on the screen how you can tithe. You can text to tithe. You can uh, you can bring your offering and your tithes to the, to the church. We have a slot in the door now. We'd love to see you. Just drop it in the slot. Hopefully we'll see you and get a chance to say hello. Uh, you can mail it in. You can go online. and As we're live streaming tonight, you can give that way. But it says, bring the tithes and the offerings. I'm asking you tonight to go a little bit above your tithe. I'm asking you to bring an offering into the house of God. We could use it. We could need to help some more people. Would you help us help others? Got people that, you know, they, 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 don't, they don't have enough groceries or whatever their needs are. There's some needs in the house of God. So, well, what do I, what do I give, Pastor? I tithe, but what do I give? The Holy Spirit has to tell you that because I want you to give cheerfully, not tearfully. I want you to give whatever God tells you to give. Sometimes it's more than you're thinking. And sometimes it hits right in the pocket for you. I mean, we'll, we'll have a thousand or more people watching us tonight in this live stream. Can you imagine if everybody gave $100? Wow, that would be incredible. What an offering. That would be amazing. Well, Pastor, I don't have that. Don't. Okay, give whatever the Holy Spirit's telling you to give. That will be amazing. So we encourage you to be a giver tonight. Go ahead and let's just fill out our envelopes. I almost said, ushers, will you pass the envelopes? But there's nobody here. So go ahead and get your tithe ready and let's pray. Father, I just want to thank you that as we bring this to you, you have the ability in the heart to multiply it like you did the fishes and the loaves so that everybody's needs can be taken care of. Just this little bit, you can multiply so that everybody's bills can be paid, their needs can be met, the church's needs can be met. And just like the fishes and the loaves, Father, there be an overflow. There's 12 baskets left over. That means that everybody that gave, they have enough to take to their bills and to their needs. So we just thank you, Lord. You've just been so good to us. And uh, we just fully expect and anticipate that your goodness will continue forever and ever. And so we, we give this in love, in obedience, but also in faith. And we thank you that you meet all our needs according to your riches in glory by Christ Jesus. For this is the confidence that we have in you. 
that whatever we ask, we'd have the petition desired. We love you, Lord. And give you all the praise in Jesus' name. Come on, let's go ahead and give. And uh, we receive it. And we're so thankful that you've been faithful, God, and that the church has been faithful. In Jesus' name. Tonight is our healing and communion service. And one of the things that I know that the Lord wants to do right now is he wants to heal the brokenhearted. Psalms 147.3 says he heals the brokenhearted and he binds up their wounds. We did um, a gravesite service for Eliana today and... Her parents and family are brokenhearted. And so we want to pray for them. We want to pray for Roam. We, people, we, we heard, we got a call from Prince today. His aunt passed away. I mean, people are hurting right now. And if you're in that condition where you're brokenhearted over whatever situation could be going on, whether it's grieving the loss of a loved one, whether it's loss of whatever, I just want you to take your hand and put it over your heart. Father God, I thank you, Lord, that you are close to those that are brokenhearted. 
And we pray for our hearts to be healed in the name of Jesus. In that name we're singing about, the name of Jesus, the name above every other name. I, I want to share a couple more scriptures with you on this. For those of you that are brokenhearted, Isaiah 41, 10 says, Do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. God is helping you. He is for you. He is not against you. He is on your side. He'll never leave you. He'll never forsake you. In Jeremiah 29, 11, it says, For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you plans to give you a hope and a future. You have hope. There is hope for you. There is a future for you. If you are breathing, and every one of you that's watching this right now, you are breathing. God has hope and a future and a plan for your life. I know it's crazy right now. It is crazy out there. I mean, it's just, it's a crazy time. We never thought we'd see this in our country ever. And, you know, we don't understand. We don't understand why our country's not open. We know our hospitals are not overflowing at this time. We, we know that the stats are 00 0.3. We know what the numbers are. Most of us, we have access to data. We can look at it. And so, you know, we're questioning things. But the one thing I want you to do in the midst of it all, I want you to trust God. Because I know when this first happened, it was like a flash. It was like pastor and I could just see what was happening by the Spirit of God. So none of this has taken us by surprise. And when this first came down, this is what God spoke. He said, all things work together for good for those that love God. I know you love God. You would not be watching this right now if you did not love God. You love him. Something good is going to come out of this. I mean, even, you know, as heartbreaking as a funeral service is, there is 70 to 75 people gave their hearts to Christ. Uh, the uncle of Eliana came up to us and said, the mom and the dad came to church. They got saved here. They got baptized. They all came close to the Lord. I, I, I don't know how God does this in these difficult times and difficult, painful situations, how God Almighty can make blessings in the midst of it. And even little Eliana, she's dancing on streets of gold tonight. If you've lost a loved one and they know Christ, they are dancing on streets of gold. So let your heart not be troubled and allow the Lord just to heal it right now. Allow the Holy Spirit to bring comfort to you. So many people need prayer, and I know yes. we're going to... I want to say something. Yes. Good. Okay. But don't call me. Don't call me that. What did I call you? What's my name? Desiree. There you go. <laughs> what did I call you, Des? Don't, I said, don't call me that. <laughs> Shh. I, I love the scripture that you read, Psalms 147.3. He heals the brokenhearted and binds up the wounds. He counts the number of the stars and he calls them by name. Great is our Lord and mighty in power. The one that's healing your brokenheartedness and binding up your wounds is the one who can and make it like it never happened. This isn't just a doctor, an ER doctor. This is the one who counts the number of the stars and calls them by name. This is the one operating on you. So you can expect joy for mourning, beauty for ashes. You can expect to dance again, to understand and love again. God is touching you right now. We're preaching the Word of God. The Holy Spirit confirms the Word with signs and wonders following. 
I believe he's touching your life right now and saying, I got this. I got this. Come on, just release it to me. I've got it. They've just gone on vacation. You're going to see them again. Now, come on, we've got to go now. We've got to do what God's called us to do. I'm here to empower you to accomplish everything the Lord's called you to do. So I just thank you, Lord God. There's a time to cry, and then there's a time to laugh. And I pray that sorrow doesn't grip the hearts of people and hold them down. But that, Lord, you can deliver us and help us move on to the call of God in our life, to live again, to love again, to laugh again, in the name of Jesus. Amen. In Jesus' name. God also wants to heal bodies tonight. Some of you out there, you need healing. What's happening is a lot of people aren't even going to the doctor if they need to because they're afraid to. So you might be having symptoms. The one thing I really want you to get a hold of is the fear. Don't be afraid. I mean, if you don't want to go to a hospital, don't go to a hospital. But don't be afraid of going. Don't be afraid of anything. Because God has not given you a spirit of fear. He's given you one of power, love, and a sound mind. So you got to you gotta get rid of that fear and then that stress. Oh, my gosh, what a time to be living in where people are stressed out. We just got to get our peace from Christ. And I pray that for you right now, a, a supernatural peace. Because I know... If you get rid of the fear and you get rid of the stress, it's going to be easy to get your body healed. So I just pray right now for those of you that are in fear. I just pray that faith would arise and drive out that fear as the word of God is preached tonight. And Father God, those that, that are stressed out, I pray for your anointing to annihilate that and for your peace. We just focus on you, Jesus, our Prince of Peace, flooding every heart, every mind, and every body right now in the name of Jesus. 3 John 2 says, Beloved, I wish above all things that you may prosper and be in health even as your soul prospers. Do you see how that soul is tied in with your healing? That worry and that fear, it's tied in with your healing. So build your faith. This is why we're on here more, you know, not just Wednesday and Sunday. This is why we're adding a Tuesday and a Friday because we want to get the Word of God sown into your heart for you to receive that to produce life and health and healing to all your flesh. Psalms 107 says, He sent His Word and healed them and delivered them from their destructions, from their own destructions, from their own fearful thoughts, from their own stressed out pity party. God's going to deliver all of us out of that. He came and sent his word. It's a light. It's a path to us. Jeremiah 30, 17 says, For I will restore health unto thee, and I will heal thee of the wounds, says the Lord. Are you wounded tonight? Have sharp words been spoken that have wounded you, that may have caused physical ailment? Let the Lord heal that tonight. Oh, I got something special for you tonight. This is going to be so good. I mean, you ought to hit share. I mean, nobody knows. I haven't told them what's coming tonight. But what's coming is going to be powerful, and it's going to bring healing. It's going to heal your wounds. It's a surprise to everybody. Nobody knows but me and the Lord right now. Are you sharing it right now? Yeah, so I suggest that you share. Hit share. Yeah, share. Hit share. Hit share right now. Okay, I, I love this scripture. It's a scripture I stood on for a miracle. Proverbs 4, 20 to 22. My son, my daughter, attend to my words. Incline thy ear unto thy sayings. Let them not depart from thy eyes. Keep them in the midst of your heart, for they are life to those who find them, health to all their flesh. 
it's healing. The Word of God is healing to your flesh. Right now, your flesh is being healed. If you have pain, we just take authority over that pain and we command it to go now in the mighty name of Jesus. Okay, here's a treat. I hope you share this. Pastor, you're a part of this. I know I you don't know. Yes. You're not I'm, busting me out, are you? No, I'm just going to have you read something I was going to read. Oh, okay. But I want you to read this. It's a love letter from God to you because God wants to comfort people. The Holy Spirit is here, and as the Word of God is read, you'll be comforted. So if you could just read this. A letter of love from God to you, my child. You may not know me, but I know everything about you. I know when you sit down and when you rise up. I am familiar with all your ways. Even the very hairs on your head are numbered. For you were made in my image. In me you live and move and have your being. For you are my offspring. I knew you even before you were conceived. I chose you when I planned creation. You were not a mistake. All your days are written in my book. I determined the exact time of your birth and where you would live. You are fearfully and wonderfully made. I knit you together in your mother's womb. I brought you forth on the day you were born. I have been rep misrepresented by those who don't know me. I'm not distant and angry, but I'm the complete expression of love. And it is my desire to lavish my love on you simply because you are my child and I'm your father. I offer you more than your earthly father ever could, for I am the perfect father. Every good gift that you receive comes from my hand, for I am your provider and I meet all your needs. My plan for your future has always been filled with hope because I love you and with an everlasting love. My thoughts towards you are countless as the sand on the seashore, and I rejoice over you with singing. I will never stop doing good to you, for you are my treasured possession. Can you possession. stop right there? I just heard that, I think, for the first time. I rejoice over you with singing. I, I just had never heard it like that before. God sings over us. He's singing over us. I never thought of God as singing. <laughs> but he sings. He's singing over us. That's powerful. I will never stop doing good to you. For you're my treasured possession. I desire to establish you with all my heart and my soul. And I want to show you great and marvelous things. If you seek me with all your heart, you'll find me. Delight in me, and I'll give you the desires of your heart. For it is I who gave you those desires. And I'm able to do more for you than you could possibly imagine. For I'm your greatest encourager. I'm also the Father who comforts you. In all of your troubles, when you're brokenhearted, I'm close to you. As a shepherd carries a lamb, I've carried you close to my heart. One day I'll wipe away every tear from your eyes. And I will take away all of the pain you've suffered on this earth. I'm your father, I love you, even as I love my son, Jesus. For in Jesus, my love for you is revealed. He's the exact representation of my being. He came to demonstrate that I am for you, not against you. And to tell you that I'm not counting your sins. Jesus died so that we could be reconciled. His death was the ultimate expression of my love for you. 
And I gave up everything I loved that I might gain your love. And if you receive the gift of my son Jesus, you receive me. And nothing will ever separate you from my love again. Come home and I'll throw the biggest party heaven's ever seen. And I've always been the father and will always be a father to you. My question is, will you be my child? I, yes, I am waiting for you. That's beautiful. So that's a question we have for you. <laughs> Will you be his child? It's your choice. God does not make anybody go to heaven. He doesn't make you do anything. When he made you, he gave you a free will, but he tells you what to choose. He says, choose Jesus. He's the way, the truth, and the life. And so we want to extend that invitation to you right now to open up your heart and allow Jesus to come in. If you're open for that, would you just hit a heart right now, hit something, tap in, write in, I'm ready. We want to pray with you and for you. Those of you that are watching that you're ready to pray this prayer, I'm going to ask you to say this after me. Just say, Jesus, I believe that you came to earth. You died on a cross and you rose from the dead. Jesus, come into my heart. Be my Lord, my Savior, my best friend. Forgive me for everything I've done wrong. I forgive everyone that's hurt me. I let it go. Fill me with your Holy Spirit and every gift you have. I declare that the rest of my life will be the best of my life. I'm gonna ask you, if you pray that prayer for the first time, if you'd contact us, you can call us, leave a message. We'll get back to you at 818-313-9393. Or you can write in your information now. Or you can email us at, um, at our church. You can just contact Gladys at ihpchurch.org. A day at ihpchurch.org. It's pretty simple. Janet at ihpchurch.org. But we have several different ways. But what we want to do right now is I know we have specific prayers that you guys have asked us to pray for. So, Pastor, I'm going to ask you to start by praying for the one that Danan sent in. I'd just get, let Danan come up here and pray. Run up here, man. Come on up, Danan. While, while he's com coming up, I know that someone had typed in that two people were fighting cancer. And so we're just praying and declaring that that cancer withers up and dies right now in the name of Jesus. We thank you for healing in Jesus' name, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Dana, Hallelujah. You, wrote, you said that uh, you prayed for somebody. And why don't you tell us about it? Yeah, uh, a friend of mine that I work with uh, by the name of Kenny uh, just let me know that there was an accident involving his brother, and he was in the hospital right now with brain trauma with brain trauma and uh so prayed for him over the phone but i just love to stand in agreement with the believers of the house go ahead brother uh, so father we just thank, thank you right you, now god that you're thank amazing you, god and i just thank you that you thank can do the impossible lord i just thank you that you sent your word lord and you healed us lord your word says heal me lord and we will be healed save us and we will be saved god and so we're standing in the gap right now god and we just thank you lord that no weapon formed against us will prosper lord and lord we just speak life lord over kenny's brother right now in the name of jesus god 
God. I just speak health and restoration over his brain, Lord, over his head, Lord, over every aspect of his body, from the crown of his head to the sole of his feet. Lord, we speak life into that hospital room, God. And we just thank you right now for equipping the doctors with everything that they would need, God. Lord, we thank you, Lord, in Jesus' mighty name, God. Lord, for a miraculous story, God, for a turnaround, Lord, and that by your stripes, Lord, he was healed. In the mighty name of thank Jesus, you, we pray. And we thank, thank you for you, it. Lord. Thank Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Dana, you got a little something, something on you. Just go ahead and pray for, pray for the people whose loved ones are in the hospital fighting COVID. Just anybody out there Hallelujah. fighting that nasty thank disease. You, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Lord, we just thank you, Lord, that you're near to those right now that are brokenhearted, God. And Lord, we come against every shred and aspect of fear. We bind it in the name of Jesus. And we speak health, God. We speak life, God. We speak deliverance, Lord, over every person battling COVID-19, God. We just thank you, Lord, that you have the name that is above every name, God. And you have exalted your word even above your name, God. And so we thank you right now, God, that your word says, Lord, that you uh, forgive all of our iniquities and you heal all of our diseases. Jesus, God. And so, Lord, we declare and we decree, God, a reversal against these symptoms. We declare and decree breathing, Lord, at 100%. Bodily functions at 100%, God. We thank you that every aspect of their bodies, Lord, is functioning, God, in a high way, God, in a, in a high capacity, God. Lord, we just thank you right now, Lord, that every uh, bit of medication is working. Every bit of treatment is working, God. You are the great physician, God. And so we thank you, Lord God, for doing an operation right now, God, in hospitals, in sick homes, and Lord, in, in camps across this world, Lord. And Lord, we just plead the blood of Jesus over every single person, Lord, that is battling this virus, Lord. We thank you for healing. We thank you for wholeness. We thank you for a turnaround. In the name of Jesus, God, we declare and decree restoration and life, God, over each and every person. In the name of Jesus, we pray, God, and we thank you for it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Dana. Amen. You're awesome, Hallelujah. dude. We love you. Yeah, let's do this song. This is so good. This is so good. Oh, I am good in you. God singing to you. Oh, I am good and you are loved. Yes, you are. Oh, I am good and you are loved. I was and this is covered by the one who was and this you're covered by love. covered by the one who was and is your covered that every person watching feels your presence right Jesus. now, feels your love, feels your anointing, feels your peace, Father. Flood, flood your people with it now. 
flood the airwaves with the good news of the gospel of Jesus Christ. He's alive and he's coming soon. I'll tell you, I don't know what's going on, but I'm ready for the rapture. <laughs> I think it may be happening. I was asking my husband, I said, Mel, do, you, do our animals need to go? Are they going in the rapture? This could be happening soon. Desiree wasn't asking if I'm going to go. She's asking if our <laughs> animals I know get you're to go. going. I knew, because I'm thinking, well, you know, I need to, to said, well. put my big bag of dog food outside because things are a little now crazy listen, right now. The Bible says that he's coming back on a white horse. Yeah, yeah. If they so, got some white horses in heaven, your animals get so to be there So my animals are coming with me. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I don't need to fill the Fluffy's bathtub Fluffy's going to be water. there, so don't worry. <laughs> I think we've got some people to come up and give some announcements, right? So well, yeah. Would we you stay Janet online and just and listen Angela. to these? These are important you, for us to stay yes. connected. So what a powerful service tonight, Angela. And you know what I love is that we can still share this service. We can share it to our live feed. You can actually send the link to this to a friend. I mean, what a powerful time so in God's presence. So and it doesn't have to end tonight. We can, we can watch this again. You can host a watch party. Yeah, you can host a watch party on your Facebook. And so you could watch this again later tonight or tomorrow. And uh, yeah. And share, right? They can share, share it. This, share this. This was so powerful. The anointing of God is just going to continue to flow. Even right now where you are, just keep praying. God's going to continue to speak to you as you do that. But we're so excited because we get to do something really special right now. If it's your first time watching us, we want to bless you. We want to connect yes. with you. We want to give you a free gift. It's a book by our very own pastor, Pastor Desiree Ayers. It's a book called Beyond the Flame. It's such a powerful book. I just encourage you, if it's your first time, will you let us know? Will you wave in the comments? But there's also something that I'd love for you to do. Will you text the word IHP, VIP to the number 62488? And we're going to bless you. We want to connect with you. You don't have to do life alone. I think you're watching at the right time right now. God's going to move in your life. And so we just want to bless you with this book. And also, this Friday, I'm excited yes. because we're going to do what, Jan? We're going to be praying with pastors. Yep. They're live at 7 p.m. via Friday. Facebook. And you know what I love is that they're taking live prayer requests. Yes. So if you need prayer, hop on Facebook 7 p.m. to our In His Presence Church page and you could submit prayer requests. Or if you have people that are reaching out to you and they're anxious or they're asking you for prayer, invite them to hop on with you at 7 p.m. And I know Sunday, Pastor Mel has been so preaching good. an incredible so series, The Essentials of Faith. Faith. So maybe you can't bring someone in here because our doors are not open right. yet, but you can invite someone to watch with you on Sunday. So I encourage you, call someone, reach out to someone, text them, and invite them to watch live with us on Sunday, 9 and 11. Amen. So with that, let's pray Amen. them out, Angela. Would you do that for us? Yes. So awesome. Father, we just thank you, thank Lord, you, for your peace. We thank you, Father, that we're going to have sweet rest tonight, God. And we just thank you for what you're doing. You've gone before us to make the crooked road straight, Father. So we just give you all the praise, glory, and honor. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. Amen. Awesome. We'll see you Friday. See you Friday, church.